Hello again, guys. This is Bubba Roundtree Outdoors. I'm your host, Wade Rush. We're coming to you from the Rush Family Range. Country Boy just picked up a uh, new Yield Is A71 12 gauge, 3 inch Magnum. Let's give you a quick look at the gun. We've, uh, uh, I'm not joking here, guys. We got here to the store and I, um, the charging handle just fell out whenever they opened the box and the boys were having a hard time figuring it out and they had put the charging handle in backwards and couldn't get it put together so I had to put it together for them but we showed them how to put together a yield is shotgun well folks we done bought so many stovers and uh, we spent a lot of time at Academy Sports well not a lot of time but a good bit of time and so they this is their brand this is the yield is a71 Josh said since everybody else was getting Stovers, he wanted to, it's a $400 shotgun instead of a $500 shotgun. Yeah, that's going to that's gonna probably be the, that's gonna be the plug. So we're getting this yield is put together. We're going to figure out what chokes. It looks like it comes with five chokes. There's one in the gun. There's four here in the box. All tools and accessories. Let me see the manual there, Josh. This is it, folks. They're assembled in Turkey. I've looked all over YouTube for videos, shooting videos, they don't exist. We, we got some uh, some Aramid guys out there that, that don't speak English and just shooting a bunch of rounds. So we're going to try to help you out with this a little bit. Gun's never been fired. We're going to take it down to the range and we'll do a little quick pattern testing and see how it works. So stand by. Okay guys, we're looking at, there's nothing written on the chokes, but let me see. I don't know here. You see those notches right there? at the 12 o'clock position. Evidently, the wider the choke, the more notches are on it. There were four notches in the gun. This is the three notch. Uh, so, one in the five. All right, one, one, yeah, you can see the obvious difference there, one in the five. That's gonna be your improved cylinder right there, and that's gonna be your super four. You can tell by the difference. So the notches in your chokes are gonna be how you identify the tightness of your chokes. Hey, Gus, Gus. We'll try the flush choke. Oh, hold on, you big butthole. Sorry about that, folks. Didn't mean to use bad language. Uh, that's that's Thomas's monster, monster pit, uh, long dog, Gus. Is he coming back? He usually makes about three laps. He's so fat, he'll make about three laps and then he'll be tired. Okay, back to the shotgun. All right, we put the super full in. And I'll get the mic, guys, and we'll mic that choke, and I'll tell you how uh, how tight that Super Bowl is. The wood is beautiful on it, but I'm telling you right now, the action, the gas operation, it is a Beretta. It is a Beretta. That's what this is. It is not the inertia bolt. It is gas operated. You know, the Stoger has the silver button, and the uh, the, the the Stoger and the uh, Benelli have the button here, silver button on the side of the trigger. The Beretta and the Yield is has the round release button right here. You see it right there. All right, we're going to fire a few rounds through it and see how it does. Stand by. The rounds we're going to run through this thing, we got some regular old Walmart, um, Winchester, and Federal. I think the uh, Winchester is an one ounce and the Federal are ounce and an eighth. Yep. Federal are ounce and eighth. And I believe the Winchester are one ounce. Light eight, I believe that is one ounce. We're gonna see how that runs through this gas operated shotgun. We've got two 15 pellet reload, 15 uh, pellet double alt, three inch mag reloads we're gonna run through. This one has 31 grains of SR4756, tried and true right here. We don't have any experimental stuff here. 32 grains of blue dot pushing these 15 pellets and here is the 10 pellet two and three quarter inch mag is pushed by 33 grains of long shot we tested with 34 and it did excellent and but they were really hot so we bumped them back to 33 we got two rounds of that loaded in these little paper holes i just did that just for the heck of look the crimps were terrible but they loaded the shotgun just fine this one's got 30 of a long shot that one's got 33 a long shot we're just going to see how they do and how they run the gun all right guys Stand by right, for we shots. got two three-inch mags in there. The uh, 32 grains of blue dot is first, and the 31 grains of SR4756 is second. We're going to check the pattern and see how they run in the shotgun. 
but the first shot is the blue dot 15 pellets of double alt three inch magnum whenever you're ready Josh Shoot, kick back at all, actually. It, it, well, blue dot usually don't. That's the best. It eat it up, too, son. Yeah, I thought it was angry. It eat it up. Y'all can see the target right there real good, guys. It absolutely chewed it up with that load. Yeah, I aimed a little bit to the left on it, so. Well, it, most of the pellets went to the left. And it cycled it, too. Yeah, it cycled good. Here, yeah, let me run Let me run back here. And it threw the other one in well. Mm -hmm. All right, very good. Stand by, and we're going to shoot this next round. Josh, give us a quick count on how many pellets we hit this thing with. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 or 15. And yep. uh, another one hit right here, right above the target. Yep. That is Actually new. on the paper. Yeah, but look at that. Good. But look at this pattern. Look, what we look at, guys, is look at this right here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 that you can cover with your hand. Those will still be on target even down to 100 yards. I'd say that's a very successful test on the first shot. Hammer is going to shoot the second shot. But Josh said that uh, what that gas operated yield is, is six and a half pounds is what that shotgun weighs, guys. It uh, said it didn't kick that bad. Not with the 32 grains of blue dot, it didn't. Mm -hmm. But uh, Hammer's fixing to shoot 31 grains of uh, 4756. And we'll, uh, we'll see how that does. Oh, you got that in your pocket? Mm -hmm. All right. All right, Hammer, hang on. Let me get zoomed up on the target. All right, we're good. Anytime. Looks like it eat it up again pretty good. I see them all over the center yeah. of the target. How'd it feel, Hammer? Uh, Should have had Josh behind that one. It kicked pretty good. Yeah, he'd have liked that. That was the old smackaroo there, huh? Yeah, he'd have liked that. Oh, yeah. All right. We'll go check the target right quick. We, kind of, we may not have hit it with as many, but look at all the, 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 the pattern in the center of the paper. Nine. We got nine, and nine out of 15 at 50 meters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep, sure enough. All right, we're going to shoot that 10 pellet double alt two and three quarter inch mag that, that patterns so good out of everything. All right, guys, Stand we're going to shoot our, our famous 10 pellet load. First, uh, I think the only one we're going to shoot is the 33 grains of uh, long shot. We're going to put two in to make sure that it cycles and uh, throws the other one in. You got to throw this thing way up in there to get Yeah, it. brand new gun. Everything is tight and it's going to have to be broken in. All right. We're going to run it on up here when we see the target. She is dead center. Good picture. Anytime you're ready, hot dog. Shoot you. It threw that whole 16 feet over there. There's pellets all in it. It threw the other one in too, didn't it? Yes, sir. Yep, there's pellets all in the middle of that, all the way across the center of that paper. Boy, you just cannot beat that 10 pellet load there. You just can't do it. That's that weird powder, don't you? Yeah, that's that uh, long shot powder. All right, what we get it with, Hammer? You said 7 or 10. 7 or 10, and look at that pattern there, guys. Right across the middle of the paper. 50 meters. Got five, right? That is, yeah, that's awesome. That stuff will still be on target way down range right there. Josh said it was the smackaroo, too, now. That stuff is moving. All right, we're going to put, uh, we're going to shoot uh, 30 grains of long shot at that same 10 pellet load and just see how All it right. does. This is the 10 pellet with 30 long shot. Let me get it zoomed up, Josh. We're about to run out of light. All right, we got a good picture. Go ahead, anytime you're ready. All right. Shoot. It still kicked the whole 12 foot over there. It didn't look like that kicked bad at all. Well, with that load, it didn't. No, not with that load. It surely didn't. I can. The tape is getting kind of tough to tell on there now, guys. We'll have to get down there kind of close in this low light. So stand by. Yep, that's... I think Josh may have pulled that one high and left. But it's still not bad at all. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, a ten. Getting tough to see that tape. All right, we're going to see how these light loads cycle in here. Ounce and ounce and eighth. Uh, here in just a second, stand right, by guys, for our last quick test. Here, we're going to run four light loads. Winchester are one ounce. The the uh, Federals are ounce and eighth. We're going to run them an ounce, ounce and eighth, ounce, ounce and eighth through it just as fast as he can pull the trigger. And we're going to see how it, uh, how it eats them up. So stand by. 
we have done nothing to this gun guys this is right out of the box assembled right out of the box when we got it home all right don't forget your ears whenever you're ready bud well, well it ran all four of them and if there had been a squirrel in that nest he'd have been decimated Prelim shooting tests look really good, guys. I'm gonna, we're gonna measure up these choke tubes and show you exactly what the measurements are uh, as compared to the notches on these things, stand by. Guys, these chokes and the yield is are identified by these little notches right here in the choke. You see the two little notches there? The one notch choke is in the shotgun and it mic'd out to a super full at .675. We're gonna mark, uh, mic the uh, two notch the one with the two notches in it and find out exactly what it mics out to. Six, eight, six, eight, six for the one with the two notches in it. Looks like six, nine, zero for the one with three notches in it. 690, we're getting up there around the modified there, or a, uh, an improved modified. Seven zero five on the one with four notches. Seven zero five. See that? Seven zero five on the one with four notches. That is a modified or a uh, modified improved. The widest choke. 719 is probably going to be advertised at 720. 719 definitely improved cylinder. Probably closer to cylinder bore. Because I think a uh, 0.73 or 0.72 is uh, bore on 12 gauge. All right, folks, that's what they mic out to. All right, that's going to be a wrap, guys. This is Wade with Bubble Round Tree Outdoors along with Hammer and Country Boy. We hope you enjoyed the video on this Yield is A71. We'll be back with another one soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>